But admittedly, I think it would be more interesting, honestly. <laughs> Sorry, I had a real, real big stretch. Uh, it felt good. I'm not gonna lie. Anyway, since the stream left, I have now have. The stream didn't leave. We were just right back. We were just we were, we were just on be right back. All right, we had we had to wait for okay. for for you to come back. We had to wait for them to start up anyway. So I was just well, you know what? I'm not gonna, I'm not saying anything. We're just gonna put it on break. We'll be back soon. Yeah. That's all it was. So this is definitely I feel bad lead for Lighthouse is just because he doesn't want the Giggler taking a wood hammer immediately. So he could go Sigilip or Whimsicott, both of which are kind of bad. And he's and when a boom is like earthquake and just. He can just protect and scout that out. And Earthquake probably doesn't do too much to Gigalift. I don't know what EVs could left for him in this gym. To be honest. But I'd still assume it wouldn't two shot to Gigalift. Honestly, I have no idea what Whimsicott set this is, but I kind of hope it's Bex, because I think that'd be really interesting, this matchup. If you, hope it's, you hope it's what? Choice specs. Choice specs. Yeah, I think that'd be interesting. That would probably do a lot to Darv's entire team. He might act. No, he's leftovers. With I'm a single of mirror on. Oh. Honestly, I don't think either of these two meet the other in this matchup. Actually, Air Slash would probably or Shadow Ball would do. Or Dark Dark Pulse. I don't understand why Dark for Shadow. I guess that works. I don't know. Just different type move, maybe. I don't know. Well, they technically take the same thing super effectively in dark things. Really. But I feel like, let's say dark was to go in the aroma tease or something. I feel like the oh wow potentials, potentials for death drop from Shadow Ball would be nice. So I feel like Pokemon is just like. This is gonna be. This is gonna sound like I'm bashing it. I'm definitely not. But I feel like Pokemon is just a lot of like. All right. Oh, he put out a rock type. We put out a water type. Oh, he put out a water type. We put out a grass type. I feel like I feel like that's just a, it's just a lot of Pokemon. It's a, game of, it's a game of switching, but as you get better, well, you will generally make some aggressive predictions. I feel. Like I feel like this is a mass light can save. And what a like big brain play from Lighthouses. Oh my gosh. He knew he was going to use an Earthquake again to try to knock out the Gigalith. Because he just used Protect. So he swapped out into Rotom, who was Levitate. Well, like I, well, like I said, the Rillaboom is probably Choice Scarf, so he can't switch his move anyways. Right. Which meant the Rillaboom had no real choice but to switch. Old switch to gain the momentum. And now something takes a Stone Edge. So any reason in particular why he keeps Volt switching into Gigalith? What? Is there any particular reason why he, why he keeps switching into or Volt switching into Gigalith, or is it just like, it's just like okay, it's just it's good Pokemon must must attack with Pokemon. It's just a good Pokemon in general. There's always that one po the absolute best in that particular metagame. It said directly, well, the best Pokemon is entirely based off personal preference. <laughs> another point another point for draft league another point for that like I feel like yes since Darth is a newer mods player on Lighthouse it seems to be pretty good Light can play much more safe so there won't be too many major predictions this match probably From from being a from being from being a competitor in Smash Brothers for a while, you know, I feel like even if you know the player's bad, you can't you can never let up, or you're like, like yeah, not, yeah, maybe not maybe not even bad, but like but like inexperienced, and especially yeah, like you're about to say, I'm I'm assuming is like even a, even a game like Pokemon, you know, like anything can happen because like if you know like the basics of Pokemon, you might be able to beat up beat to beat like a mid level player or a top level player because this game is like forty percent luck. Um, forty percent. Oh, 
Let me introduce you to a personal friend of mine called Duck Suck. Yeah, luck is not some people's friend. It's not a friend to a lot of people. And one thing you gotta keep in mind, not only is there like a 6% chance to crit, and a chance of bonus effects for moves like flamethrower burn, skull burn, stuff like that, but every single attack, like damaging move, has varying amounts of damage each time you need it, so... So every turn, there is technically some luck involved. Which is unfortunate. In other words, people don't play competitive Pokemon because it's a super good competitive game. People play competitive Pokemon because they hate themselves. <laughs> That's why people play Smash Brothers too, am I right? Up top. That, you can at least remove from like a natural rule set, so at least most of them. I mean, for crying out loud, we already saw a Stone Edge in this game, which has an increased crit chance to crit, but still a Stone Edge crit. Alright, so... Lighthouse really does have a, like it, does, it feels like he has he has, a, he has a very commanding lead right now. Yeah, probably. Like at this point, I I'm wondering to figure out what to win with Scott Sector. I think it just seems like an offensive set overs. I'm not sure how much Moonblast normally does for Mr. Rhyme if it's defensive. Maybe I'm wrong. But all we've seen is U-turn and Moonblast, which I Ooh. still have. Yeah. I don't think Rotom needs help this game anyways, but that, unless because Dark can't set up rocks anymore, but still that is kind of annoying. Nightmare has left the chat. Fine Nightmare. If this, if this Rotom is Scarf like I think it is, it's set to do some major work, because the only thing that can take a hit from it, outside of maybe Sigilip, is the Passimian, which I don't think takes two, so... No bit of damage and the Pacinian will die as well. I'm just saying, if Lighthouse was a man, he would have saved. If Lighthouse was a man, he would what? <clears throat> he would stay in, take the U-turn, and then get a kill with Shadow Ball. Like he should have I I wish he predicted the U-turn, because that would have been nice. But yeah, now something just dies. I mean, Rotom's faster than Sigilyph, right? Um, yes, and it's, and it's, well, actually, Sigilyph is faster, but it has a choice, for, so Rotom will outspeed. Gotcha. I keep, mentioning, I keep mentioning the choice, I hope I should probably mention about to do, you know what those do, right? Do I know what what does? You cut out. Do you know what the choice items do? Because I keep yes. mentioning. Yes, I okay, do. Okay, good. Oh, gotcha. Darth Hill's calling the preemptive GG. I mean, at this point, nothing can really stop the combined force of like full health girder and Rotom. Because every single point of damage done to Kasimian means Rotom's closer to having a guarantee. I don't know how much Rotom does. Maybe, okay, after the superpower, yeah, Ro even if Gigalib dies, Rotom has a guarantee. Does he, have, does he not have any fighting type moves on his fighting type Mon? It's close combat. Yeah, aka the best fighting type move. He just didn't use it. I think he did walk a special defense drops. I mean, at this point, you just gotta get the kill. You know what I mean? Yeah. Isn't Salazzle oh. weak? To Mr. Rhyme? I mean, I guess it goes yeah, both ways. It, yeah, it goes both ways, and Slazzle is much faster anyways. Because when Mr. Mime got all involved in Mr. Rhyme, it, act, 